water is a gift for everyone, then everybody should be benefiting from that, and that everybody should be a participant in the stewardship and the creation of a water future for this city. Who should shape that future? Whose water future is it? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Water School. Milwaukee Water Commons was really born out of a question, is what would it take for Milwaukee to become a true water city? And we began by going to a variety of folks, and they were some of the people that you might not expect to talk to about water in Milwaukee. People in the faith communities, people in urban agriculture, people in communities of color. We know Milwaukeeans care about our waters and are up to meeting the challenges of protecting them. The solutions are going to lie in reimagining our relationship to both the water and to one another. Raise your hand if you stay in the Milwaukee River watershed. Being in a city like Milwaukee, where there's Lake Michigan a couple of miles down the road, it could seem infinite. And the reality is, it's a finite resource. That's why we're here. That's why we started this project. There's a lot of untapped leadership in this community for the care of our water. We want to get out to people in communities that can make a difference. Begin to think about what's a project you might do that would connect people more to the gifts of water. The very basic need is that we need water in the garden so we can grow the crops. you got to build something that can last, that's functional, I mean it's affordable. Can capture water off of the top of the roof into these big containers. We're from All People's Church, and our project is to start and continue with water reclamation. The problem in the community is they don't believe they have the water to use to grow a garden, and they're not sure how to do it. I love she says she loves water. It's nice and fresh. I love water, too. And some water that I drink is fresh. Some water is not fresh. So one of the things that we really want to do at Milwaukee Water Commons is to raise up community leadership. People who understand water, who is passionate about water. How do we engage you all in this conversation? It takes 31 days to form a habit. So we're hoping that if we use this water bottle for 31 days, then we'll get in the habit of using water bottles and not having to buy them over and over again. <laughs> we live right on Lake Michigan. We have one of their best freshwater resources in the country. So we might as well use it instead of spend money on water bottles. So we've come down here for the afternoon to let the kids play in the water and to help them respect Lake Michigan and to understand the importance of taking care of the lake. What is one of the things I said that's our responsibility? I used the word, we do what to the water? We take care of it. We, we take care of it. We're caretakers of the water. We conserve it. We conserve it, yeah. The water walk was a watershed walk. Alice's Garden and Lake Park are both in the Milwaukee River watershed. So we got to walk from the garden to the lake park and experience the river along the way. To walk through a bunch of different communities all linked by water, we thought would just kind of change us on some instinctual level. Water is a deeply spiritual and sacred thing. We're at a point where we have to choose whether we're going to become the water city that we seem to want to become, but that is not going to happen just downtown. That's going to happen because a culture of stewardship and a culture of community leadership arises and rises up to make that true. Good evening everyone. Thanks for coming and welcome to our first town hall, Water City. We have enormous challenges facing our waters and a lot of these are a legacy of our past, of the way we treated the waters poorly. We need to come together and solve those challenges right here at home. We could become truly a model water city. This is what a commons is. A commons is a set of relationships that we have together that allow us to create a resilient community and to pass them on. And so, to me, this is what a commons looks like.
So much of our journey together in the Milwaukee Water Commons is telling stories. If we're going to really change the use of water in our world, we need to reconnect with the story of water inside ourselves. We believe that there is a more hopeful, more transformative, and more beautiful vision of what a water city could be than we've heard yet. And we believe it is all of us that will create that vision and bring it to life in all kinds of ways. It cannot be just a vision of a handful of people, but it must be a vision that is expressed in all parts of the city. We are growing a city. We are growing a water city. We're water leaders! Each of you is like a drop of water, and we know what happens to the drop of water. It plips in, but then the ripples go out. <laughs>